Hi there, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we will like continue the previous session. So uh, I was in the last video, we left on uh, creating an image using a Docker. We created a Docker file and how we created, how we build the image and how we run a container and all, all those things were explained in my previous video. You can just have a look into my previous video like uh, how to create, how we utilize the Visual Studio code, uh, terminal, and what is the command palette and all, how we created a Docker file, and the basic commands of the Docker. So these, all these things were uh, discussed in my previous video. So in today's video, we will discuss uh, more precisely on AWS ECR, Amazon Elastic Container Registry. So we will, uh, whatever the image that we created last time, we will push that image into the AWS ECR. Now, before proceeding, what is this ECR? So it, uh, Amazon Elastic Container Registry, it helps you to like easily store, share, and deploy your container software anywhere, wherever you want. Now, there will be certain use cases and all that I'll be showing you up. So basically, first we will push the container images to the ECR. So we do not install anything. We do not to scale any infrastructure or pull any images or any, any kind of tool that we need to use. So nothing is being used over here. So share and download images securely over the HTTPS without, with automatic encryption and access controls. And we can also access and distribute our images faster and we can reduce the download times and improve availability using a scalable, durable architecture. So that is a, uh, like a basic introduction about the ECR. So basically inside this, we will be creating a repos and all. So I'll just show you like a workflow over here. You can see you write the code, you package the code as a Docker image, then you push it to the Amazon ECR. So that is a compressed, encrypted, and control access to the images. Then you can also have the version tag. This is very important, uh, putting a tag and all, manage the image life cycles also. So I will not go into the image life cycles and all into details. Just I will show you how we can push the image to the ECR, how we can utilize it. So in today's video, we will just focus on how to uh, push your Docker image to the ECR and what are the things that are being there in the ECR and the basic like uh, introduction, just a small demo for it. So using that image, uh, you can pull those image and run the containers. So running those containers, either you can uh, do it on uh, AWS, you can have it on your on-premises, infrastructure, you can have EKS, Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Services, or we can go ahead with the Amazon ECS, Elastic Container Services. So this will be, of course, in the next video. Next video, we'll be having a comparison between the ECS and EKS, and which one to be utilized and which one we will be using. So we'll discuss in the next video. For today, just the ECR. So let's uh, proceed to the same project that where we left it. So you can see over here, this was our, okay, let's go to the images. Let's go to the Docker over here. So this was the image that we created last time. I think ECS demo. So if you have confusion, I will just check it over here. What was the image? Because I put the same names. So this was the latest one, ECS demo that was created six days back, like in the last, uh, video that I created. So this is the ECS demo image that is available over here. So we did not to build, we did not to add the Docker file, nothing to be done. So it's already available there. Now you can see over here, there is no registries added over here. Now, if you click on this connect registry, it will show you the external registries and all those things, but uh, we will not go to that part. We, if you see the AWS over here, make it sure you have the SDK installed over here. And you can explore over here your services, whatever services. So here we will be looking into the ECR. So either you can create a repo from here, create repository, or you can just go to the console over here. It's your choice. So if you want, you can create it here, make it sure your credentials are added over here. You can see by default, I'm running this one using uh, my credentials that a profile is being added over here, profile default and US East Virginia I'm using over here. So there is no CDK, we can hide it up. 
Yeah, I'll just scroll it down. So currently there is already one repo is there. So let's go to that repo over here. So here, ECR. So you can see by default, this repo is there. Uh, like in the previous video, I have created this, not a by default. Uh, this one was created earlier. So today we are going to create a new one, new repo. So this was earlier. So if you see over here, the details about this existing repo over here. So it is containing one image with the tag latest and artifacts name over here when it was being pushed on January 7, 2024. And what is the size and what is the image copy URI and SHA over here. So these are the details you can see over here. We can also set up a life cycle policy and all like uh, when it should be uh, deleted and all those things, we can add it over here. So I'm not going into this because we have to create a rule over here. Then we can set up the rule and we can tag or any untag that image, how many days since it being being pushed. So this is the quite a basic, you can just check it yourself. This is similar to all the other life cycle things like in S3 and all those things, similar to that one. You just need to create a rule. And you can also set up permissions if you want. So currently there are no permissions over here. So basically whenever you create a repo, you just create a role, I am role, and give the permissions to that user. So coming to this public repo, create repository. So you can see I'm keeping it public. So once a repo is created, its visibility setting cannot be changed. So access is managed by IAM, so it is publicly visible. So it's your choice. So you can just uh, go through this kind of things, but uh, I will suggest like, uh, rather than choosing over here, these all are optional over here. If you see the options, best way, let's stick on to our Visual Studio Code. So this is the ECR and our image name is ECS demo. So I will just create over here, click on ECR, click on this, so you can see over here. Once you click on this plus sign over here, enter the repository name, ECS demo and press enter. So that's it, you can see created repository name, ECS demo, you can check it over here. Okay, so we will just go to the console and we can just cross check over here. We need to refresh. Okay, here we go. So we have created this one. You see this demo over here. So this is our URI path that we need, this one. Just copy this one. Now our next task is, so we have created this one. So there are certain couple of uh, things we need to do over here. First of all, we need to tag it. So for tagging it, I'll just copy the command. So you can see over here, this is the command. So I will just change it to this one. Let me just copy paste over here. We will do one thing. I will just show you how does it works. Like, uh, let me copy this one and I will try to run this command, push command, as well as we can utilize this one. So basically this is the URL that we are getting over here. So this is the so this is the tag that we are going to put it docker tag okay let me change it ECS demo
So we will go back to our terminal over here. Okay. Okay, that's it done. So it has created the tag. Now, the next thing that we have to do is to push this one. So let's try to push it, see what we are going to get it. So you can see I'm getting over here something uh, tag does not exist. So I use some different tag over here. Let me put it over here. Latest. Okay. So you will also get this one. This is what I was waiting for. So basically, you can see over here, we created a tag, ECS demo latest on our this particular URI. And this is we are using the Docker push. So what happens when you're from your Docker, you already logged in, you're already signed in with your Docker hub uh, credentials, but we need to pass our credentials in, uh, in, to the AWS in order to like, you know, pass on your uh, authentication token. So that will help you to like, you know, uh, prepare your uh, layered images and then push it in the ECI. So these are the different layers basically it is preparing. So we are getting access denied over here. So we have to run it like this. Uh, let me check. Okay, ECR password. So this is what we have to run it. So basically it will copy my credentials over there. So we need to run this command. That's it. So basically it is get login password for this region, then it is passing it to the uh, Docker login, username, AWS password, uh, STTA in, then this is my account. So this is how it is passing. So this login succeeded. Now, if I use this Docker push, that's it. Now you can see it is preparing and pushing. I forgot to show you over here. You can check it over here also. It will show you. So you can see no tags are being found. Just refresh over here. And once it is being pushed over here, you will get the tag latest over here. You can set up any tag over there. It doesn't matter. So whatever you feel like latest is basically the way we are using this thought is the latest one, latest image. So it won't any create any confusion. So you can have V1, V2 versioning and all. So you can see it is being pushed over there. So it will take, see, you can see over here, it is coming over here latest now. Okay, so you can just, uh, you can uh, copy the tag, create app runner service. So this is a different thing, I'm not going into this. So it will create a service, run the server as a service. So the main purpose was to take up this image, create a tag. So don't forget to add the tag without tagging. It won't let you uh, push the image. So you create a tag over here using this command and then you push it. But while pushing it, it will give you uh, authentication. Authorization token has expired, then use this command. Then you can push it. Now let's go to the console over here. So we'll refresh. So ECS demo. So latest image, it is 7.0 KB uh, MB. So this is the image that has been. Uh, we are having this image available. Now, how to utilize this in ECS or EKS? So that we will discuss in the uh, next video. But before that, we will have just to have a simple comparison between them. And then we can go ahead. We will utilize this image that is being put it in our 
repo. Now next, suppose if you want to push it again from here, you can just have another tag, uh, latest two or V1, something like that. And then again, you can push it. So in the same repo, you can push multiple times. So for same application, basically you can keep it. So you can see over here, let's say if I'm using, let's say latest two, Let me put it over here. Oops. Oh, okay, because we don't have the image. This is the tag, this is the image. Why is happening like this? Okay, let me try. Okay. So this is how, so this is our image that is the latest. So we are creating a tag with the name latest two, and then we can push it, Docker push, this one latest two. That's it. So there are already those layers were existing over there. So this is another uh, beneficial thing, the layers, because this is a uh, Docker uses a layered approach. So like uh, you're having some updates or some uh, other uh, uh, like, you know, uh, base images are there, so it won't be downloaded. So it will use from the existing one. So we were already having this, so it didn't download it. So basically there is a no change over there. If you're having a change, it will just push that one. So this is another advantage that we have. So you can see over here, if you just refresh, so you can see latest and latest two we have over here. Both are same because we don't we didn't make any changes to it. So we have these images, the permissions we can set it up, life cycle also we can set it up if you want it. Okay, so if I go back over here, if I refresh over here, let me give a try over here. So I will just remove this one, delete this tag. Are you sure? Yes. So deleted this tag. So you can see how handy is this uh, Visual Studio code. So you need to go to the console and do your things. So you can just manage it through the Visual Studio code interface. So this is how, so keep your image there. So in the next video we will utilize this image to deploy our application. And then we will continue with our ECS or EKS. So whichever like will be like the preferred, like whichever we will decide, like whichever is like beneficial and which one is easier to deploy our applications. So we will work on that. I hope you like my video. Please do like, share, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.